I don't see it more like a work. I see it more like, you know, we'll call it like a calling. Because I think for me it click with uh, who I am and with what I believe in. And uh, when I say it clicks with me, it is more of, it is, there are elements in it which is more like, it makes it different. I think one of the things that catch me from when I was looking for the job was the fact that, uh, you know, more of, there is the room for creativity. It is a room to look at it and you can change it to do different. You know, it's more, yeah, that, that for me is the, that is the catch things in it. That is the fact, that is what I love in it. I think it's probably my own experience of inequalities. I was kicked out of school at a very young age. And rather than being given the best teachers in, in society, we were kind of left to the wolves. Um, it was almost a holding pen, essentially, the school that I, that I went to. And I was the only person from that school that went on to go to college and university. I was no brighter than those individuals. I just had a, a different set of circumstances in my life. And that's always stayed with me. I've been asked this question before. And when I answered this question the first time, the, the immediate response for me that popped into my head was the people. I meet the most incredible people, but not just because of their brilliant bravery or resilience or, you know, the things that they've experienced, because we do hear some really harrowing stories doing this kind of work, but just because of who they are, the way that they've carved out the most brilliant social networks in order to combat for lack in service provision. Um, the people that I get to work with every day, my colleagues, they are genuinely brilliant and I can see every single day that I come to work how hard it is and how hard they work. And we talk a lot in these circles about psychological safety for both staff and community members. And sometimes you have to be a friend before you are anything else. And I think in being a friend with community members, but also with my colleagues, they motivate me to get up without even thinking about it. Nobody texts me in the morning and is like, Shanna, are you coming to work today? I do it because I know the people I'm gonna see and the people, the community members who are genuinely brilliant innovators who will send me away with a head full of the most incredible ideas. That if we could do them, we would have systems change, but that's not always that simple. Um, so yeah, I would say the thing that gets me out of bed in the morning is the people. I've always wanted to work in the community. Ever since I left university, I guess it, there was no other path for me. Um, I, I've, I've got this belief that you don't, um, you don't become community development people. You're born that way or you're not. And I think there's um, anyone who works in the volunteering community sector has an inkling from the beginning. And um, I think making change is really important, but making change within the system for me is even more important. It's easy to shout from the sidelines, um, getting involved and making that change by working with change makers is probably the thing that drives me um, to do this work. I think that the question life has to answer is how do you do good in the world um, and for me part of the answer is the work I do at Grapevine in Coventry and Warwickshire um, to help create stronger, fairer, more connected communities. Um, yeah I guess it's part of my upbringing was to, was to care about that and uh, I want to spend my working life doing something about it. I do the work I do because I think as a society we can do so much better. I, I think the human potential is incredible, uh, but I think we've lost our way a little bit. So it's trying to find uh, it's trying to find our way back to um, getting the best from everybody that lives around us.